The title of the story is Only Eight Days More. So now, what if you knew that you only had eight days to live? What would you do? So let's listen to such a case. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this channel on Padre Pio. And here we have a series of short stories on his life, on the life of our great saint, who was a Capuchin friar, a mystic, a tremendous miracle worker. So do stay tuned to this channel to find out more about Padre Pio and also to see what his intercession could do for you. We do ask everyone to be part of this Padre Pio apostolate and a good way to help us will be by liking our video and sharing these videos with friends or colleagues or anyone who may benefit. And just a quick note of thanks to our protected child of Padre Pio patrons because with your support you are the ones who are making these videos possible for everyone. So thank you again for your support. In the story today there was a young policeman who had been posted at the door to protect Padre Pio. And he was a very active man. He had been chosen because he was certainly able to protect Padre Pio, kind of a bodyguard type of person. Because sometimes the crowds there did get out of hand and people would be playing little tricks trying to get past the guard. He was able to handle all of these situations. This policeman appeared to be in perfect health, vigorous health. But then Padre Pio had this revelation about this person. His gift of insight, God revealed to him something about the policeman's life. And it certainly appeared that it was not a pleasant insight. Nonetheless, Padre Pio had been chosen, and so now he felt compelled to tell the policeman to disclose to him this unfortunate news. And this is how it happened. Padre Pio turned to one of the two policemen who was posted at the door to protect him from the crowds, as we said. When I have finished, Padre Pio said, with my thanksgiving prayers, follow to me to my cell because I want to speak to you. The young man was delighted with this, to be singled out by Padre Pio. What an honor! But when they spoke, that delight turned to sadness. Padre Pio said to him, Listen, my son. In eight days, you'll be going to your father's house. You will die there. The young man did not believe it. He could not believe it. He was in a perfect state of health. And so he told Padre Pio this. But the priest would not be put off and added, Don't worry, you will feel even better in eight days. And, and then he continued, And what is life anyway but a pilgrimage? We are on a journey, my son. Padre Pio advised the man to ask for some time off as well, so he could arrange and put his affairs in order. The man asked if he could tell anyone else about this, what had transpired in this meeting. And to this Padre Pio replied, no, not at the moment. Wait until you are at home. It was not easy for the young man, this policeman, to get time off to go home. Because he went, when he went to speak to the chief of the police, he was in, appeared to be in a perfect state of health. No, of course, that's not necessary. This young policeman could not tell his chief about Padre Pio's prophecy. He'd been sworn to silence on that one. At this point, the priest Padre Pio now had to intervene. We're not told exactly how he intervened, but the permission needed the, was given. At home, the, the healthy young policeman told his family this news, what Padre Pio had revealed to him. And they were astonished, and they also would not believe it. But he did go ahead, and he put his affairs in order, and people must have seen that he was taking Padre Pio's advice seriously. He was doing things, putting things in order, and eight days later, he suddenly died, exactly as Padre Pio had foreseen. And so, in this, Padre Pio was seeing this greater reality, far greater than our little everyday trials that we face. And he expressed this with the words, what is life anyway? But a pilgrimage. We are all on this pilgrimage. We are on a journey, my son, he said. There is one thing that really counts. The death, judgment, heaven or hell. 
this unre unrelenting magnitude of this faces us all sometime in the future. So let's be ready for it. The next time we're going to have a slightly more cheerful story called the goldfinch. It's a little bird, a story about a goldfinch and the monastery. So do join us for that talk. And if you're not receiving reminders of our videos, then do make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. You have to click that subscribe button. Once you've done that, there's a little reminder bell. You must click that reminder bell as well. So do join us next time for our story on the goldfinch.